Hello everyone. It's May 21st, 2017, and I want to make this tech vlog pretty much all about laptops. Vintage laptops, to be exact. A couple of you have had questions about where I got all of the ones that I've been making videos of recently. And, um, well, it's basically just been from random places. <laughs> They're all from my personal collection, to be, I guess, more specific. Um, and I've been thinning out my collection, and this is all that I'm keeping out of 26 laptops. Um, this one, this, this tough book, I might not be keeping. It's in very bad shape. It doesn't even work. But um, it's just kind of cool because it's like a brick. Anyway, this is all I'm keeping, and the mentality I had was I'll keep the best of every processor type. And, uh, uh, for example, this is a ThinkPad 760XD. It is in good shape, and it's got the fastest Pentium processor lap, or it is the fastest Pentium processor laptop that I had. So I'm keeping that. Uh, so that's my Pentium. There's a 486. There's some other. It's not a 386, but it's it's not quite a 486 or something like that. It's a very obscure processor. So I've got that one. This is an AMD of some sort. Uh, another 486 that's different from this one. A Pentium 3, a Pentium 2, uh, another Pentium 3. I've kept two of them just because this one's kind of more of a nostalgia one for me. In the closet I've got a Celeron and that pretty much makes up all of the CPU types that I wanted to save or that I had available. And all the other ones that I've been getting rid of are duplicates of some sort. So Coincidentally, all of these are IBM ThinkPads. I've got one ThinkPad that's already in a box that I can't really show you, but all these are um, in various states of disrepair, most of them. Uh, a couple of them are in good shape. I think these four are in good shape. These two are trashed. This one is particularly flippin' ruined. Um, but yeah, these are, you know, I have the processor type already, Pentium 2 and Pentium one, um, so I'm going to get rid of them. Somebody else can enjoy them. I've also found one of these. Uh, it's an IBM hard drive caddy with a four platter two and a half inch drive, which is insane. That is really cool to find. You don't really see those often anymore. And it works, so I'm selling that. Um, I think it came out of like a 770E, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, that is the plan. Um, Basically, I don't need to keep all of them, and they're just taking up room. Somebody else can enjoy them more than I can, because honestly, I haven't touched them in the four years that I've had them. So, you know, get rid of them. Somebody else can enjoy them, as I just said. Um, let's take a quick look at my eBay page. Now, this is not a video to advertise my eBay page per se, but that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so... Uh, right now, and I'll put a link to my page in the description, because I know a lot of you like these vintage laptops. Um, I've got many of them for sale. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It seems like a low number, but that might be right. Um, I sold three of them, so there's 15. And I've got another one going up for sale, so that's 16. Um, so I've got 16 of them that are... I have sold, and I'm keeping eight of them, which is a pretty good number, in my opinion. So this one needs some work, that's why it's still here, but eventually that will go up. And as for videos, I have a lot of videos coming. I have a video of every single one of these, um, and I'm going to do videos of the ones I'm keeping as well. So that's a thing to look forward to. I'm trying to not show you too much, but I'm going to my video manager here and I'll show you that I do in fact I've got five more that are filmed that are going up that are right here um, and I've released a couple of them that seem to have gone over pretty well they get a I guess an average amount of views but uh, a good amount of views so that's cool so we got those uh, I have to make videos of most of these I think I've done some of them uh, already video of all of those, every single one of those, excuse the gross dishes, I'm sorry about that, um, and all the ones that I have in the living room, which I can show you briefly, 
are uh, those are all posted on eBay and videos have been made of all of them, those ones that are in the boxes. So um, that's it for the laptops. One thing I'll show you just as a treat because you stayed till the end. I bought myself a racing setup. So I already had the G25 pedals and shifter and I already had the HTC Vive. So I decided, you know what, let's buy a good quality seat for everything. And that's exactly what I got. This thing um, cost me a little bit of money, but it wasn't anything ridiculous, but it is very sturdy. I mean, there's there's no wobble in it. It's, it's heavy as all hell. Oh my god, it's heavy. Uh, let's turn off the TV here because it doesn't need to be on. But yeah, um, I'm very pleased with this. So VR racing with an HTC Vive. Really flippin', flippin'? Yeah, flippin'. Really flippin' cool. <laughs> Very cool indeed. So that's a little thing that I wanted to add on here. This is really fun. I'm gonna probably do some racing uh, later tonight. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you are interested in any laptops, please check out my eBay page. And as always, I thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.